books. I'm thinking we're on the Dr. Phil. No, we book. did Dr. Phil. Okay, so we have the power of two. What is the what did you gain from the power of two? Uh, the power of two. First off, shout out to Anthony C. Skyer. That's the author. Yeah, that's the author. This is a really shout really out good Anthony. Book. What up, Anthony? Hi, Anthony. If you're on Instagram. Holla at us. Be Holla. like, yo, I see what y'all doing. Thanks for liking my book. <laughs> um, but what would you say you gained the number one thing out of this book? The number one thing I gained from this book is what's in the title, like The Power of Two. Like, it's one of the hardest things that we can ever do in this world. Like Jim Rome said, you know, it's like herding cats. It's like herding but cats. But it's so worth it. Like, the process is so worth it. It's so worth it. I, for any sports fans, you know, if you see, um, you know, Kobe and Shaq, they didn't get along the greatest. Right. Right? But they won three championships right. in the process because right. they understood the power of two. Of two the right. big picture. Right. Right? So, yeah, that's the one thing I took. When two or three agree, anything is possible. Yeah, we got to focus more on others. Right. You know what I'm saying? More on others than we do ourselves. What would you rate the book? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get us a five star. Five yeah. star? It's definitely a five star. Definitely. Really? A five star? Yeah, definitely. Why a five star? Um, because most people don't understand that. And it explains this better than you Even I, I didn't really, I understand it, but I can't live it. Like, you can see me now, I'm partnering, I'm doing my best to try to partner with as many. Some can go, some of the relationships can go all the way to the roof. Right. But the other ones, they take us to wherever it can take us. Right. The next level. But it's better than here. Right. Right? So I think that's, like, this is definitely five star. Mm, I'm going to have to pick that up. Because it's worth it. Right. Why do you read so much? Uh, I read so much because at one point in time for a group of people, it was actually considered illegal. Mm. So something's got to, if they make something illegal, you got to start thinking right yeah like when you were on that call you you forget we all forget about this but mm -hmm. they say if you want to hide something from a blank put it in a yeah you put it in a book we got to make america read again there's no doubt about it i love it i yeah. love it but my job is to live what's in these books well so let me just ask you one more question if when some people say they don't have time to read mm -hmm. how do you find time to read I mean, I don't even have time to listen to the, that excuse, excuse anymore. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't have time to read, you don't have time to grow. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I'm very proud of you. I know you've probably already started another book. Have you yeah, started another book? What, what book did I? Yeah, I just started. I don't even know the title of it, to be honest. So how long does it take? Like, when you finish a book, do you go right into another book? Or you wait a week or two? Um, the truth of the matter is I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you something that I normally don't tell people. But I found out a way to read two chapters of a book every single day. How? I read a chapter. My goal is to read a chapter every single morning that I wake up. Mm -hmm. Right? One chapter. Minimum. One chapter. Sometimes it's so good I got to read like one or two or three or four. You know what I'm saying? It's just like sex, right? Mm -hmm. and if it's that it's good, good, you're like, oh. Again. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, all night. Ah. Yeah, okay. back to the book review. Yeah, yeah. What was I saying? You were saying when you when something's good, you just keep doing it more and more. So mm -hmm. you were getting to how you do at least two a day. Oh yeah. So for me, again, I, my goal is to read one chapter every single morning before I do anything. Mm -hmm. So before anybody sees me on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn, before you ever see me on those platforms. You know, you, you'll see me reading a book and that's a chapter. Now, what I was able to do with this, I mean, with books is when I go to the gym, right? And I'm walking on my, doing my cardio, my treadmill mm -hmm. for like 20, 30 minutes, a couple miles. I'm reading a damn book. Like I'm re I'm getting my chapter and sometimes a chapter and a half. So there's things that you're doing. There's things that we all do. Like I was just speaking to my uncle last night. It was like he doesn't. He's never had a. He's never dro driven a car. He has drivers, mm. and that's his time. He's like that's one of the leading reasons to why I'm able to get a lot of things accomplished. And the average person doesn't is because while they're focused on oh, I want to drive, I need to get this Lamborghini. My uncle is loaded, mm -hmm. but he has a, a, a sh he has a driver. Right. 
know what I'm saying? And during while he's getting driven around, he's reading magazines, Wall Street Journal. He's reading the business pages of every mag, uh, you know, every newspaper. He's reading books. Right, right. No, it's incredible. So if you, if it's a will, it's a priority. You'll figure yeah, out. Yeah, figure out ways. Like and how I, they have the, um, the coffee it... effect. Remember years ago they said they were trying to help people pay off debt and it was like, if you just didn't drink coffee every single day, if you made coffee, mm -hmm. right? And and people were like, damn, I'm just taking this coffee money and I'm going to put it in this. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with reading. If you really understand the power of knowledge and applied knowledge, you're going to, you can fit. What I'm saying is you can figure out time periods during your day where you can squeeze in reading. Same way I do on the treadmill. I didn't think of that years ago. I just thought of this less than a few months ago. I seen somebody else doing it. Right. I was like, yo, this person read every day. Right. I was like, can I do that? Yeah. And then I tried it one day and I was like, yo, I can do, I can read and walk. And when you shared it with me and I tried it, it was, I was very surprised that mm -hmm. you're even more focused and you kind of forget that you're even exercising. So let's just like, what are some ways that people can, you know, that where sometimes that they can read? When they're getting their feet done. When they're in the Uber. When they're in the Uber. When they're in the Lyft. Yeah. You can be reading. Right. What was the other one? Uh, when you're getting your pedicure. When you oh, that's a good one. Cause y'all there for like what, 30, 40, no, two hours. Sometimes. So yeah, you time. can read. That's, that's like a the good barbershop for our you ladies. You can knock out a book. Well, not a book, sometimes, cause y'all gotta talk. Right. Cause y'all gotta sometimes, talk. Sometimes, you know, it's it's hard not to talk. But when you under that dryer and it's loud and yeah. they usually ain't talking to you, you That's can get in a chapter. That's a time because I hate That's the a good, I like that one. That, was that good. one's good. Um, on the plane. On the plane, of course. On a bus. On a bus, yes. On a yeah. um, train, right? On a train, yeah. definitely a train. Um, when you waiting. Right, in line at definitely the post office because the post yeah, office in the line post is office. ridiculous. That's a great place. Cardio, like me, if you're doing cardio or on cardio. the treadmill, on the bicycle. Now, oh, no, not if, bicycle. Yeah, bicycle. No, in the gym. Oh, yeah. Because you shouldn't be running <laughs> in the street and reading. No. He basically tell we me only talk about in the gym. If you... <laughs> Now, if you're walking, you can probably read in the street. Right. We're talking about in the gym, though. Right. In yeah. the gym. Yeah, in the gym. In the gym. But in yeah, that's this. But this the power of two, and I know we got to get out of here. Absolutely. And check us out at Royalty Readers uh, on Facebook, and stay connected because reading is fundamental. It's important, and it's a necessity. All successful people read. Absolutely. Or they write. Or both. Or both. That's the. Yeah, hey, let's go. Uh, yummy boiled peanuts. Okay. All right.